it goes on. Life goes on. No matter the event you're going through and how badly it affected you, time doesn't get affected. And that's why every second of life counts. Most people don't focus on the moment they're currently in. They tend to focus mostly on the outcome of life and forget to enjoy its journey. But I want you guys to expand your vision and realize how far along you are in life and how much more there is to reveal. Now, if you've realized something, both of these statements begin with the word how. Yet those statements can never have the answer to how much time you have left until all this is over. How much time you have left until your life expires. And the reason for that is, we don't know. I don't know. You don't know. Only God knows how much time we have left on this earth. But what we do know is why. Why we are put on this earth. And that's because we have a purpose. We have a purpose of fulfilling every single second and living in every moment until it led to this one right here, right now. Not the past, not the future, but this moment right here. You know, Seneca, the philosopher, once stated that we suffer more often in imagination than in reality, meaning we stress ourselves with whatever has passed and whatever is yet to come. But my question is, why? Why worry if no amount of guilt can change the past and no amount of anxiety will change the future? You know, time is just an illusion. It keeps you waiting and waiting and waiting until there's nothing left to wait for. Stop waiting for a change and be one instead. Because your mind, your brain, whatever the thing you call consciousness, has the ability to create something out of nothing. Whether it's a bad force, a good one, you create your own reality up here. Your perception of the world is a gift because you have the ability to see things as they are right now and not as they used to be or as they will be. Because thoughts create your perception of life. They're like drops of water. One, two drops on, on the floor won't make a difference, right? But as you accelerate the drops of water, it becomes an ocean. And you choose to either drown in the abyss that you created in your head or learn how to control it. Learn how to control your thoughts no matter the environment. Because there's always going to be good in the bad and bad in the good. It's just a matter of your perspective that needs to change. A wise man once told me, to face the music. Face whatever you're going through and don't run away from it. Because where there is chaos, opportunity lies. So in this case, when I tell you it's a matter of quantity and not quality, I mean the journey of living is more important than how it will end. The act of creating something is more important than the results. Because everything in this life has a rebound except for time, money, comes and goes. People come and go, but not moments, not time. And that it will never come again is what makes life so precious. So with that being said, I would like to end my speech with a note. Today I've got a million opportunities. Tomorrow, I don't know. My name is Lealil Badr, and it's a pleasure to be living in this moment right here.